We are getting creative to finish framing in the snow. If the ladder is gonna slide at all, it'll just be like a slow, consistent slide. You say that after I'm up here. Yeah. <laughs> Window install is going okay. Is it broken? Yeah. And we're crossing our fingers for a smooth roof delivery. Tomorrow morning, uh, they'll back up the driveway. That is great news. Thank you so much, Scott. Either way, we're moving forward. Oh! Right into the holiday season. Let it snow. Is that the name of the song? You have the Christmas spirit in no, you? No, I don't. It's in my head and I'm upset about it. the best workout. <sighs> I was warm before, but I'm hot, I'm wide awake now. The sun is out today, it is actively melting, and it's, it feels amazing in the sun, actually. Uh, we have a small window of clear weather again until the end of next week. We got more thermal buck that we needed to continue installing the windows. So I think the goal for today, even though it's a little bit snowy, potentially a little bit slippery, is to install as many of the remaining windows as we can. Hi. Okay. Yeah, it's hot. I had to take layers off already. You must be really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. You are. Wow. Extra sweaty. All right, so it's a new day. We are back at it. We're up here in our bedroom trying to get the rest of our windows put in. We've got three large windows that look out onto the roof right here that's gonna pile up snow and be a problem. And we've got one window up there. The issue is we we're supposed to get an inch of snow and uh, we got like six inches of snow. A lot of it melted and so there's just a little bit left but now it's like in the teens so the snow is gonna be a little bit stubborn to melt and get out of here. So we're gonna try and remove a little bit of snow off of the roof, get this plastic off of here, throw our thermal buck in, get the wind windows installed. If we can get the roof on and those two windows in before real winter starts, I will be stoked. Also, next week on the forecast again is like an increasing three-day storm of snow, more snow, more snow. That could be real winter, so <laughs> the pressure's on again. <laughs> I keep hearing dripping over here. I don't yeah. know. Dripping inside our cricket, or it's like right over here. I feel like it's just dripping off of this fascia down onto the roof right here. Into the sunroom? No. Impossible. <laughs> That's what you said last time, and then I had pots and pans. I, I never said it was impossible last time. Oh. Hey. oh my gosh, look at all that snow on the roof. Wow. Because we can't build a freaking fire. Right up against the, the wall here, it's a little slippery, but down here it's not bad. Okay. When you're on the actual snow, it's good. Yeah. When you're on this little powdery stuff, it's slippery. <laughs> yeah. So this is fine. Oh my gosh. You go sliding down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where we're going to practice our gainers and back lifts, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had me, boy. Woo. Oh!
Are we switching gears to somewhere else? No, we just have to lift these really big windows up here. Mm. And so the three by five was like hard enough to for them to just hand it up and me to like pull it up so so I don't drop the four by five foot window. I'm gonna put the platform down there so that they can stand on the platform and lift it up so that it gives me a little bit of extra help. Oh, I guess so that one is much yeah, wider. Yeah, well, really relying on that dad strength. I usually am. <laughs> relying on that dad strength. Yeah, we got it. You guys got it. <laughs> Oh. You want to move that block? Take that three by six. Yeah, I can Yeah, I think it'll help you. Hold on, let's knock this block off. Wait, wait. Don't kick it onto them. Don't kick it onto them. Go! <laughs> Jeez, Trent. That's exactly what I said was gonna happen. Hit the window. It did? Yeah. Trent! I think it hit the platform. No, it hit the window. I watched it. Oh, really? It went like this. It did. Dink against the window. Oh my gosh. I was expecting it to break. Lovely. <sighs> All right. That would be much easier. Nice. Is it broken? Yeah. Probably need a new one. Are you joking? Yeah, he's joking. Oh my god. <laughs> Trent! Yeah. You can be able to see it if it's broken. Oh my god. Give me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> Yeah. What happened? It's, there's not much to see. I was trying to screw in one of the screws and the bit slipped off the screw and just went right into my finger. And normally it wouldn't be that bad, but it's so cold that like my skin just like chunked off. Ooh. So now I'm bleeding a little bit. Blood, sweat, and tears, baby. <laughs> That if the ladder is gonna slide at all, it'll just be like a slow, consistent slide. It's not like it's gonna be some crazy, out of control thing. <laughs> so he'll know what's going on and oh, like he'll man. be able to address it. But you say that after I'm up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Candle approved. Yeah. And it's getting colder, so. It's getting cold. I'm ready. <laughs> we got all the windows completely finished in our bedroom, and that's really relieving. The other two windows that we have to do are that eight footer, which we'll be able to do easily from the ground without being too sketchy, and then the big window in Allie's office, which will be the easiest one to do. And hopefully it won't be when there's more snow. Um, now that we've finished that, I think let's get that ladder off the roof shovel this a little bit so that that snow can come down and then hopefully we can shovel that quickly looks good in here but other than that we're gonna call it a day what's up guys and good morning 
It is a nice early cold day today. The snow is not melting. The temperatures are cold enough and uh, we finally got our final thermal buck order shipped in. We have all the parts that we need. We're gonna start cutting that, gluing it, installing it. And then Grayson and I are gonna be knocking out the last two windows. He's up there. Are you a shark? Well, rock. You got, you're a big rock? Huh. Yeah. That's good. See you later. I don't know if it's because it's so much colder up here that it just like feels more wintry or that it's just honestly been a tough season for us for lots of reasons. Um, but whatever it is, I have been itching to decorate for Christmas. Um, at the time that this video is being filmed, it is not yet Thanksgiving. And maybe by the time this video posts, Thanksgiving has already happened. So in that case, I guess I'm allowed to, to decorate for Christmas. It's not that I'm not allowed, obviously, like you do whatever you want, but sometimes I feel like if I decorate too soon, then I get sick of all the decorations before Christmas is even over. <sighs> You gotta pace yourself, you know? But uh, I'm also honestly starting to feel, at least this year, like Christmas really is a season. The holidays are a season and uh, I wanna savor that season. I wanna draw it out. So we might end up decorating maybe later today. <laughs> Hey, are you a shark? Yeah. What does a shark say? <laughs> and then they eat you. Um, did you see sharks at the aquarium? Hmm. Yeah. Were they big? Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Is that a that's a shark? <laughs> oh, oh, they're sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. that's right. <laughs> they were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> One? It's one was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, and snoring. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know sharks <laughs> snored, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. You had a dandruff attack this morning. Still having it. <laughs> yeah, just all over your arms mostly. <laughs> Alright, I just finished cutting all of the thermal buck, so I have all of the pieces cut for our large window that's going to go in Allie's office and our large window that's going to go here in the stairwell. That one's going to be a struggle, but I think uh, Grayson and I can most likely handle both of them. And uh, now we're going to head downstairs, start gluing and nailing in the thermal buck into Allie's office. And then we'll go grab that window and install it. Brandon is taking the day off, so he's not here to help, but I think uh, Trent and Grayson can do this window as long as they are very strategic and intentional about it. It's crazy how we used to do everything with just Brandon and Trent, and now that we have Grayson, it's almost like, it's almost like, wow, how did we ever do anything with just two people? It really makes a huge difference to have another set of hands um, so we're really fortunate to have everybody's help. And today we're gonna to get a little creative and a little old school with just Trent and Grace. I'm just gonna use the tubes that I have and we'll have to go find something that's close at Home Depot. Duct tape. Double-sided duct tape. Not funny. <laughs> All right, of course, we have everything we need. We have the thermal buck and we are running out of the glue that you need to put on the thermal buck to adhere it to the wooden frame. <sighs> we're gonna run out, but we'll try to get as far as we can. Oosh. 
So I probably have enough glue left over to do the two sides of the thermal buck on this window, but not the top. So instead of putting in the two sides and then going to the store and getting glue and then letting all this stuff harden when we come back and I won't be able to manipulate it, I'm just gonna leave the bottom in. We're gonna go get some caulk, seal this thing up, get it all glued and mounted in, and then I'll be able to manipulate it and tie the corners all in when all of the caulk is fresh, and then we'll start installing the windows. Unfortunately, we're on Home Depot. Okay. Might have to help. Even if I have to unbundle it and just hand them load them, that's fine. Yeah. All right, get that one too. So yeah, you'll see it tomorrow morning. Awesome. That is great news. Thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later All right. on in the week. Sounds good, take care. All right, well, that was Scott. Just got off the phone with him, and uh, that is confirmation that our panels are gonna be delivered tomorrow morning, which means tomorrow, by the end of the day, we should have some metal panels on the living room roof, which is the only roof that I'm actually worried about through the winter. So let's just say things are looking up. Well, many of you guys that have been around for a while, you remember the candle. And the candle was from our original house build. It was this propane heater that we actually hooked up to the propane line coming in through the house. The problem is, these are supposed to have unregulated propane pressure, and then it has a regulator built in. So when you connect it to the propane that comes in from your house, the pressure's way too low. So this thing was like lighting a candle. It did almost nothing. When we connect it to an actual propane tank, it's a force of heat to not be reckoned with. It is super hot. Like the top of it, I think, looks like it's almost melted because we had it on high for a while and it just looked like it destroyed it. But anyways, the reason that we have that out here is because here in the living room, the snow is not melting and not sloughing and not sliding off of the roof. It's sliding a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and accelerate that process by going ahead and turning on the heater in here. All of the, the heat will hopefully rise and get trapped up here against the roof, heat the roof sheathing up enough so that the snow and the ice will slide right off. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be ready to install our roof panels with no snow or water or ice up there. At least that's the thought. Pretty fun to have the candle back in action. I don't know how well it's gonna work since it's not a fully enclosed room, but it's better than nothing to help melt the snow on the roof. In the meantime, Home Depot was a huge success. We got some more caulk. It's not perfect, but it will do the trick. And uh, hopefully we can finish installing both windows. I think so. Okay. I guess why not. Grayson's just gonna throw the big one over his shoulder. That's the plan. <laughs> just throw it on up. <laughs> Thank you. 
windows are not windows and run up and <laughs> like a bird <laughs> yeah jump into the window <laughs> damn it. I think they're smarter than that Frank is I don't know about Lika <laughs> All right, the guys are installing that window Jennifer had to take off early so you and I are gonna make lunch yeah Do you like eating strawberries? <laughs> Very good. those suction cups and the glass from there. All right, everything is prepped and ready. They are about to install the last window on the entire edition. That side looks like crap. No one will see it. <clears throat> this is true. <sighs> All right. You want your suction cups? <sighs> yeah, I don't even know if we can do this. The funny thing is, is that this is basically like how our entire house was built. It's just mm -hmm. like some crazy Thing that we had to do it's like just me and Brandon and it's like a crazy struggle fest but in the end we usually made it out okay and got it done mm -hmm. today will be no different <laughs> here we go I'm not stoked but I'm ready <laughs> Tightest one. Good. Uh, completely tight. <laughs> we did it. Whew. We got all the windows in. We still got to do the door. Brandon was saying we should try and take the doors off of the frame, which like normally would sound like a really good idea, but those doors are like some heavy duty, they're complicated, crazy contraption. So. I'd have to like go and fool with them and see if I can actually get the doors off the hinges, but we're not going to do that today. So we've got uh, a lot of gooping and taping and sealing up to try and get done before snow starts coming again. So like always on this channel, we are preparing for the weather. <laughs>
I'm trying really hard to get the sunroom more organized and cleaned out. There's just so much that needs to get filed away and sorted through. It's kind of like a never ending project, which is fine. But whenever I have a couple spare minutes, I try to just tackle it as much as I can. Maybe one day it'll have an actual process to it. But in the meantime, these guys have been doing so much uh, taping, gooping and rolling on the back of the house and the snow is finally coming off the roof just in time for tomorrow's roof panel delivery. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody must have been watching out for us this year because for the weather to be absolutely perfect, have this nice little break, and for us to be able to get all the snow off of this roof, our panels are supposed to get delivered tomorrow. We're gonna have metal on this roof, which is gonna make all that snow that just I had to push off right now, when it comes down off that roof, it will just slowly slide down off of this roof also. We may have to heat this room a little bit, but it'll be super, super frictionless and just slide everything onto the ground right there where I can get it with the snow blower. It's gonna be way better than trying to leave this ice and water shield up because we'd be shoveling this thing off all winter. And also for anybody that's wondering, we did finally get the extension for our stove pipe. As you can see, now our stove pipe is well above the like 20 or 24 inches for code that it has to be higher than anything within 10 feet. So since that corner of the roof is like three feet away, it's gotta be 24 inches higher than that. So we got a four foot extension. So it's like a good three feet higher than that. We shouldn't have any problems with it. And now we can actually start building fires. Our Starlink might have a problem with it, but we will figure that out at a later date. No, I think it's far enough away. We might just slide it over all the way to the left if we have to. Yeah, the Starlink is not permanently mounted. It's just there so we can use it while we're building the addition. We may mount it on a different spot. I'm not really sure. Let it snow. Are you saying you... I don't know. Is that the name of the song? You have the Christmas spirit in no, you? No, I don't. It's in my head and I'm upset about it. <laughs> Whoever did this needs to pay. In case you're new around here, Trent, our, our dear Trent is the OG Ebenezer Scrooge. And <laughs> we love him for it, but... It's not even true. <laughs> yes, it is. It's not even true. <laughs> What's going on? We just wanted to bring this for you. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It's that just is some bread. Amazing. Homemade? Yes. Oh, thank Good to see you. you. You all know Cody, he's been in the videos before. This is his wife, Erin. I don't know if you've been in. No, I We went haven't. Christmas tree cutting. I strategically keep away. From oh, sorry. Do you not want to be in? No, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm good. <laughs> Fine, I'm fine. <laughs> um, she is an amazing sourdough bread baker and she has gifted us a fresh a homemade loaf of sourdough bread and we're gonna dig into it right now. Yes. On her husband's cutting board. Oh yeah, and that too, yeah. That's important. Shout out to, yes. what is it, Mountain Maple? Mountain Maple cutting board. Yay! <laughs> Yummy. Goodness, this looks so good. <laughs> Mr. Leo, you want to try a piece of bread? Oh, oh nice. You yeah. brought us some yeah. homemade I bread. I did. I've been promising Allie um, treats yeah. for like three months. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> don't ever say don't keep promising. <laughs> okay? Hold on to your commitment. <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah. three months. I'm just, yeah. I'm just I'm not a committed friends anymore. I'm a good friend. <laughs> Super good friend. Yeah, so. Can I try some? Yeah. You have to, yeah, it's added. so good. It looks amazing. <laughs> Is it good, Leo? Is it yummy? Yeah. Your man crush. Hello? Hello? Uh, do you want to talk to me or your boyfriend, Trent? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, if there's a choice. Uh, <laughs> yes.
it was honestly so much fun having Erin and her kids come over and hang out for a little bit and get to eat some sourdough bread with her. Before we end for today though, we're gonna do a really quick meal time. Oh, happy birthday, Allie. Thank you. you Mama. I don't have a banana. Love from Jan in the UK. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, cool. Some herbs to grow up here? Grow your own veggies? This is amazing. It's exactly what we need. This is exactly what we need. And a beautiful note. Thank you so much, Jan. Ooh. Oh, nice. So that rash guard is actually from a guy named Travis and he, uh, basically just reached out and said he makes these rash guards. He does a lot of jujitsu. He saw that, you know, I was into jujitsu now, so he wanted to send me a rash guard. And this one's called Struggle Cuddler. I think that's his brand that he makes. And uh, I'm really excited to put this thing to use. Thank you, Travis. What an awesome videographer looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I may be left-handed, but I'm always right. I'm oh. Too. You're digging it. That's cute. That is. First, I drink coffee. Then I build things. Then I build things. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> accurate, pretty accurate. There's no note. No. Thank you so much. You be careful with that razor knife. You don't know what's inside these packages. That's true. No strap knee pad inserts. Hey. Oh, I like that. Those, those are- Those do, those go with the Carhartt pants. Enjoy your gift from Jason. Thank you. That will be put to good use. Thank you, Jason. And Mindy wrote this as well. The Caterpillar and the Mouse. I love that people are sending us their own books that they've written. Yeah, it's How amazing. How cool is that? This is awesome. Thank you so much. I thought this might make the transition from your Christmas wreath a little quicker. We hope you enjoy Amy and Steve. Oh. oh. That's cute. Look at that. That is really cute. I love that. I can put that on the door right now. Oh, nice! Trent, you need a new one. <laughs> From your friends, Jen Jen and Nancy Pinto. Oh, nice! Thank you! Thank you, Jen Jen. And Nancy. <laughs> Thanks for all the great videos. Hope you like all these. From Viva. Just a hair out of square. Oh. Leo's heavy equipment rental established 2021. <laughs> a hair out of square established 2020 construction. <laughs> this is, is this like needlepoint? This is amazing. I think it's cross stitch. Cross stitch? I think that's, it's the same thing. That's really good. That looks awesome. Thanks, Viva. These are great. This is a hit. I already know this is a oh hit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> From Matt and Hartley in Raleigh, North Carolina. But I have to say, I like this better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, That's wow. awesome. He's gonna love that. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh, this is a mug. It's beautiful. Look how cool that design is. Man, yeah, that is cool. Leo, happy birthday, you are awesome. And Allie, happy birthday to my favorite videographer. Much love, Jen Jen and Nancy. Aww. Thank you. You guys. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. We literally just have the best community. I feel like the people that watch this channel are all just like such good people. Yeah. I just, I always feel so loved whenever you guys send us things, whenever you guys leave nice comments. And we have like a strong, we have a strong group of people that are always out there leaving positive comments, letting us know that like we brighten their day and things like that. We love you guys. I know, the internet can be a tough place sometimes and we just wanna let you know that you make our world so much brighter and we hope that we can give you a fraction of how you make us feel. Thank you seriously. Absolutely. From the bottom of our hearts. And I think this is actually where we're gonna let you guys go on this video. But if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. All right, so we also got something in the mail from one of our very special followers who's been with us for a very long time. We're super grateful for it and I, it actually took a little bit of setup. So I had to get it all set up and now we're gonna see the big reveal for Leo. What do you think it is? Look. What? <gasps> Are you ready for this, dude? Yeah! Leo! Oh, that's 
okay. The first turf. <laughs> There you go. This is called a Strider bike. It's a bike with no pedals. It's for you to learn how to coast and ride and steer. I think Leo's gonna absolutely love this and he's gonna learn some skills that are gonna be valuable that he's gonna use in his biking career for the rest of his life. So thank you so much, Kevin, for sending this Strider bike. We're so grateful for you. Oh yeah, you're natural. Oh! Wow. High five. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, stand up. Good. Yay. Okay, you gotta steer. There you go. That's a lot. Yeah. That's one. There you go. Good. <laughs>